Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I was just thinking the other day when I was drawing a two point line from all my angles or all my points on a polygon, I had to take all this time and you have to be kind of careful to make sure all your nodes are good and you have to go to the right one to get all these pies. But then I thought there's really two ways you could do this. One is take control D and make a duplicate of that. Get your shape tool and grab right here. And I actually am going to hold down uh, control two. And now look, I have those same pie shapes that are right in the middle and I can make pie shapes you know, like I've done. And the more you would uh, do that, the more you would, uh, the more time it would save you. The other way, that you could do it. I'm gonna make sure I just have one and I would put it in the center of the paint. I would bring in indexing lines and we have 12 of these. So I'm just gonna take a two point line and go from that node to the center and then from that node to the center and take the smart fill tool and fill that in, double click on it and move the rotation to the center of our item it doesn't look like it is let me move it over there a lot of times it's there it goes then open up windows dockers transform or transformation depending on which one you is your version you have 30 degrees we need 12 of them but we already got one so there's 11 so we can do that and then very easily you could nudge one of them out of the way and get rid of your outline Matter of fact, I would make sure there we have our other lines that we drew in there. Then you could actually send these back and you can left click, right click, and you have you actually have individual pie parts. It's kind of cool. Um, anyway, I've done several videos lately about drawing between this and then rotating it. So that's why I would use it for. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.